Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Trends to find a profitable niche for your online business. And if you already have a niche figured out for your online business, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Trends to find content ideas that are completely unique and that are gonna pull out your ideal leads. Let's dive in. So maybe you wanna start an online business, but you're not sure what your niche should be. Maybe you got some ideas and you're wondering, are those actually gonna be profitable? Are people gonna be interested? Or maybe you already have an online business started, you know your niche, but now you just need content ideas. They're gonna be unique, they're gonna be interesting, they're gonna gain engagement, they're gonna get your ideal leads interested so you can turn those leads into paying clients. Well, in either of those situations, I got something for you. Google Trends is an amazing solution that can help you figure out a profitable niche for your online business, and it can help you discover content ideas that you might not have thought of yourself and that your competitors are overlooking. So let's go over to Google Trends. You can go to trends.google.com and it's gonna take you to a page that looks something like this. So basically Google Trends is a place where Google compiles all the search queries. It looks at what people are searching from every country for all different searches and it compiles those into trends that are accessible to you and me. And this is powerful information. Just think of all the millions and millions of searches that happen on Google every single hour. All that information is compiled. You can take a look at what people are searching and use that to determine if you should pursue a specific niche for your business and what type of content you should create to draw leads inside that niche. So here's how it works. The first thing that you're gonna do is go over to the Explore tab. And I'm gonna show you how I set this up. What I do is I go over to this drop down here and you'll see that when you get here, it'll have your personal country listed. And that's great, you can leave that here if you wanna see trends within your country. Or in this case, I'm gonna say that, imagine I was targeting customers in the United States. I'm gonna put in United States. And now Google's gonna show me the trends that are happening within searches from the United States. Here, you can leave the rest of these as they are. You wanna make sure that this is set to the past 12 months. So if this is set on anything else, do change that to make it the past 12 months. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in a general topic related to the industry that you work in. And this is very, very important. You wanna put in something quite general. So let me give you an example. Imagine you're a fitness coach and you help your clients lose weight. You don't wanna go in and put something super specific like macro tracking or macro counting. No, you wanna be very generic and let Google do the work of becoming more specific for you. And you're gonna see how it does that in just a second. So let's put in a generic term here. Let's say weight loss. So again, in this example, you're a fitness coach, you help clients, or at least one of the things you help clients do is lose weight. So I'm gonna put in weight loss. And now what Google's doing is it's going and looking at all the trends from the past 12 months from searches within the United States. The first thing that you're gonna see here is interest over time. And what this is doing, it's ranking the term that you just put in here, so in this case, weight loss, and showing how much that's coming up in searches over the last 12 months. And so you can see here that this one typically fluctuates somewhere between 75 and 100. Well, on this chart here, zero would mean that nobody searches for this term at all. It's completely unpopular, whereas 100 means this is like the most popular search term that you could possibly imagine. And you can see in this case, weight loss is very high on this scale. So this means there's a lot of interest in this general topic of weight loss. That's a good thing if you're a weight loss coach. And I'm gonna show you some more examples in just a second. So if weight loss isn't your niche or your industry, that's totally cool. We'll look at some more examples in just a second. What do you do now? So we see that there's some interest in this topic. Let's go down and the next section here shows interest by subregion. And what Google's doing is it's taking the country that you chose and it's breaking it down into subregions. In this case, the United States is divided into states. And so it's showing the interest for that general search term across all the different states here. And you can see in this case, it's a very popular term. So we get 100 out of 100 in West Virginia, 98, 96, 93. If we went through and took a look at all the states, probably there's gonna be a very high ranking across all the states in terms of the popularity of that search term. Now let's take a look at the most important information. And this is where we're actually gonna hang out. There's two boxes here. There's related topics and related queries. Let's talk first about related topics. These are general topics that Google sees people who might have searched for weight loss would also be interested in. So in this case, we've got Kelly Clarkson, we've got Lainey Wilson, we've got Roe, a health company, and you can go through and click here and you can see there's 22 different related topics. Again, these are general topics. So in this case, people are searching about drugs when they're searching about weight loss. Does that mean they're actually going into Google and typing the word drug? Maybe or maybe not. Again, these are general topics that are related to the term that we originally searched for, that being weight loss. Now this might be interesting to see what other general topics people are interested in if they're interested in weight loss. 
but this isn't where we're actually going to hang out. We're going to hang out over here. This is related queries. And these are specific searches that people are putting into Google. So this tells us very specifically what people are interested in, what they want to find out. So let's take a look at some of these here. We've got ZetBound, which is a weight loss drug, ZetBound weight loss, Kelly Clarkson weight loss, Kelly Clarkson weight loss, Rice Hack for weight loss. And again, we can go through in this case, we got 25 different specific search queries that a lot of people are searching for. Now I'm gonna go back here to the first page and I wanna make mention of this because this is gonna be very important in just a second as well, is we have a drop down here with two different options. You can choose rising, which means that this specific search term is really taking off. It's blowing up, it's becoming viral perhaps, it's becoming super popular. So ZepBound here, you can see that it's actually been labeled as a breakout term, which means that an extraordinary influx of searches are happening around this term. Let's actually click on this and we'll be able to see, you can see here it's a breakout because it's just absolutely taking off. So in this case, ZepBound, it's a new weight loss drug. So it makes sense that this term would be taking off in popularity. Let's go back, however, because I want to take a look at the other option in the drop down box. And we are going to be using rising search terms in just a second to help you figure out your niche and to come up with content ideas. But I want to show you the other option here. The other option is top. And when you click on that, that's going to list out specific search terms. So these are terms that people actually typed into Google, but they're not just necessarily taking off right now. These might have been really popular over the last number of months or maybe even years. So these are consistently popular terms related to weight loss. Let's take a look at Ozempic weight loss. And you can see here that over the last 12 months, which is the time frame we chose, Ozempic's been very popular, ranging from 100 out of 100 to the lowest it ever hit was 50 out of 100. So it's consistently been very popular. Now I'm gonna go back here and let's talk about what do you do with all this information? Well, let's imagine again that you're a fitness coach and you're helping your clients lose weight and you wanna figure out a specific niche and you're wise enough to know that if you launch an online business saying, I help people lose weight, that's not specific enough. It's not a niche at all. It's a general category. In order for you to break through and really get some attention, it's gonna be very helpful for you to have a specific niche. So again, we're gonna go back over here to the related queries. And we're first gonna take a look at the rising related queries and see if there's any potential for niches here. Now, as we go through this, I wanna mention that because these are rising queries, they could be fads. And a fad isn't something that you wanna build a business niche around. So we're gonna take a quick look through these. And if there's nothing that pops out, then we're gonna go back and take a look at the top related queries, which have proven to be more consistent. They have more staying power. So let's go through these and see if anything stands out here. Nothing on this first page seems worthy of a business niche. These seem to be more fad related search terms. I'm gonna go through here, similar. These seem more like fads, but these are gonna be useful. And you'll see how we use these in just a second here. Same thing, I don't see anything with really any lasting power here. Uh, similar, yep, so these are searching for very specific diets or very specific people who have lost weight. So in there, we didn't see anything that's good for a niche. We're gonna flip on top related queries. Now let's take a look again. We see nothing here, let's go to the next page. So weight loss surgery, and then I'm noticing a trend here. A lot of these staying power terms, these ones that are top terms, they're related to medication. We saw a couple brand names of medication and now actually the search term here, weight loss medication. Again, a brand name of a weight loss medication. And then I noticed something like this. I always take notice if I see multiple search terms that are related to the same thing, but it's a slightly different variation. So we got two examples of semi-glutide searches here. And so if you're a weight loss coach, you might think, is there something here that I could use to help position my business in a specific niche that helps it stand apart from my competitors? Let's go through and take a look at the last page here. And again, we notice a lot of the terms here related to weight loss drugs. So what do you do with this information? Well, I'll give you an example. If you're coming into the online space for weight loss, you might position your business as something that goes hand in hand with weight loss drugs. Clearly, Americans are super interested in these weight loss drugs. So niching down your business so that it's paired with something that we know is not only popular right now, but has real staying power, that could be a great way to separate yourself from generic weight loss coaches out there. So that's one way that you can use this information if you're not sure what your niche is. What if you already have your niche figured out? How can you use this information? Let's go back and we're gonna take a look at the rising related queries. And this time, instead of thinking about how you're gonna position your business, you already have a niche for your business. Now we're simply looking for topics that are exceptionally popular right now. They might not have staying power, they might be fads, they maybe aren't something that you wanna hinge your entire business to, but these can be great opportunities to create content around something that clearly your target audience is looking for. So I'll give you an example right from the first page here. Let's click on this, the rice hack for weight loss. So you can see that this term exploded in popularity, but it does look like we've actually missed the peak. You might've come here a few weeks ago or a month or two ago and realized, wow, this term's absolutely taking off. Then that gives you an opportunity to create content around the rice hack for weight loss. 
And it's almost guaranteed that people are gonna be interested because clearly they're searching for the term in Google. Now, as we noticed here, this one looks like it's actually past its prime. So I'm gonna show you another little trick that you can do here. When you're looking for content ideas, you want things that are super popular right now, here's what we can do. Instead of choosing 12 months, we can say, I wanna find trends that have been searched for in the past 30 days. And so now Google's only looking at trends that are really popular right now in the last month. And as we just saw, the rice hack for weight loss, it looks like it's actually petering out over the last month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the search bar here and I'm gonna type in my general term again, weight loss. So now Google's compiling all the weight loss search results, but this time it's within the past 30 days. And so this is gonna be much more recent trends. And so I might be able to spot some fads or some super popular topics that could be great for pieces of content. So let's scroll down. I'm going to take a look at related queries and I'm going to start out with rising queries here. And right off the bat, notice this, I see lysine one, two, three of the top related queries are all related to that same idea. So again, I see lysine benefits here and it's just everywhere here. So what I would do now is I would open up Google and I'm going to take a look for lysine weight loss and learn a little bit more about it. And I can see L lysine boost fat loss. And what I might do now is create a piece of content around this, knowing that it's super popular, knowing that there's a high likelihood that people are going to engage on this, knowing also that there's a high likelihood that this is something that will be very shareable and could go viral. And you could stop there. Maybe that's all you need to know in order to create a piece of content that's going to be very valuable and really exciting to your target audience. But I'll show you another trick that I like to do. I'm going to take this same term, and this time I'm gonna open up Facebook. And what I wanna see is what are people already talking about when it comes to this particular term? So I'm gonna type this into the search bar up here. And there are two things that I like to do. The first thing I like to do is go down to groups and I'm gonna just scroll through the groups here to see if this search term shows up in any of the group names. Now this is a really good trick to find out if that search term probably is a fad or if it's something that's been around for a little while and perhaps has enough staying power that people are actually creating whole communities dedicated to it. And so as I scroll through here, you can see Facebook brought up this general weight loss group, a fitness group, workouts, weight loss. I don't see that term showing up in the name of any of these groups. So this probably wouldn't be an example of a niche for a business, but it still could be a really effective piece of content. So this is the second thing that I like to do is I go up here and I'm going to filter by posts. And then I'm gonna click on recent posts. And now Facebook is showing me what other content has already been created around this topic. And so I can scroll through here and look at the pieces of content and see if there's anything that got a good reaction and got a lot of engagement. And if there's any inspiration for the content that I'm gonna create. And so that shows an example if you're working in the fitness industry, how you could find a niche for your online business or how you could find content ideas that are super on trend. Let me show you another example though. I wanna go back here and look at a completely different industry. We're gonna go back to the explore tab here. And this time, instead of looking at weight loss, imagine that you're a dating coach. I'm going to type in the general term dating. And then I've got United States set here. I've got 12 months set here. You can see the dating is super popular somewhere between 75 to hundred on the scale. I scroll down here. I've got a bunch of related topics. I'm not so interested in those, but here are the ones that I could either use for a niche or for unique pieces of content. I'm going to change this to top. Let's take a look at the top. I've got dating app, dating apps. What is dating? Dating sites, Facebook dating, Reddit dating. Very interesting. Do you notice a theme here? People are very interested in searching about different dating apps or dating websites. And so this could be an amazing piece of content for your business that could attract a ton of leads comparing these different dating apps. Let's do another example here. I'm gonna go up and imagine if you are a business coach and you're offering marketing services or marketing education. Let's put in marketing. Again, ultra popular topic in Google search. Let's scroll on down and let's imagine you're looking for a niche for your business. So you don't wanna just be an online marketer, you wanna niche down. Probably you're going to find better results by being a little bit more general, looking for topics that have more staying power. So I'm going to choose top digital marketer, business marketing, social marketing, affiliate marketing. So interesting. You could niche down and not just be an online marketer. You could be an affiliate marketer. Let's go down and take a look at here. You could be someone who specializes in email marketing, someone who specializes in social media marketing. Perhaps you specialize in Google marketing. So you can see that these are more general topic ideas that could help you niche down your business as opposed to just saying, hey, I'm an online marketer. And then from there, like I just showed you, what I would do is take one of these terms. Let's use Google marketing as an example. I go back over to Facebook and I'm gonna type in Google marketing. I wanna see if this is a topic that's popular enough to draw specific communities around this term. So I'm gonna go down to groups and look at this right off the bat, Google marketing, platform, digital marketing services, Google's listed here, Google ads, 
Google voice marketing. So there's a lot of people who are interested in this topic of Google marketing. These are all potential audiences where you could find leads if you were to start a Google marketing agency as an example. Let's take a look at the post to see what type of content people are creating around the idea of Google marketing. Again, I'm gonna click on recent posts and right away I can find dozens, maybe even hundreds of pieces of content that are all about digital marketing specifically related to Google. So as you can see, Google Trends is really powerful when it comes to showing you what people are interested in over a long period of time. Those are good business niches as well as showing you high volume trends that may be fads but could be great inspiration for pieces of content that we get a lot of engagement right now. And I love using Google Trends but I also have a secret weapon that allows my business to grow even faster and it's called Unipro. Unipro is a tool that goes out on Facebook, it finds your ideal leads, it brings those leads over into your audience, it helps nurture those leads, it strikes up conversation, and it helps move those leads towards making a purchase from you. If you're building an online business and you're using Facebook, you gotta check out Unipro. Go over to unipro.com, I know you're gonna love it. So that's what I've got for you in this video, all about how to use Google Trends to pin down your niche and to come up with unique content ideas for your business. If this was helpful, give it a like, and if you have any comments or questions about using Google Trends, drop those below, I'm happy to help out. And again, if you're building your online business and your ideal clients, if they hang out on Facebook, you got to check out Unipro. Unipro is going to be a game changer for you, just like it has been for my business. Go over to unipro.com. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.